Hi, everyone. It is the 1st of December oh, today. Oh, yes. Christmas. And you can see from the time, that is genuine. I haven't changed the clock. It's nearly 10 past nine <laughs> in the morning. I was like, oh, my God, I just want to get up and do the giveaway. And Tuesdays is my, like, busy day. And when I'm out all day. And so I just... Um, Usually spell Wednesday just like killing, but I was excited to get this giveaway done for you guys who um, watched a previous coffee in a chat video. You never know what's going to come up in a coffee in a chat video. I don't publicize giveaways. Um, I just do them in, in random videos. And this is the second giveaway that I've done on the coffee and chat segment. And I'll just get the bits now. We have 30 people um, comment, and this was for the giveaway. Coffee flavour fondant centre is coated in Beach's luxurious, luxurious, I should say, dark chocolate. These are made in the UK, and they are fair trade, and I think they're vegan friendly. I'm sure I got them vegan friendly, yeah, vegan friendly, just for anybody. And some Flying Start coffee bags. These are also made in the UK, but sourced. The coffee sourced outside of the UK. Obviously, we, we don't we don't grow coffee beans, so it's sourced outside, but it's packaged and sold by a British company. This is a British company, and you might not like them, but you could always put them back and give them put them in someone's Christmas stocking, couldn't you? But it's fitting that I do coffee flavored, and a coffee and a chat. <laughs> yeah. Or I'm going to wrap them in Christmas wrapping for the winner. Um, so you could keep them for yourself too. And I did say that I would post wherever. So we'll do that in a minute. I've just got my iPad charging, which is where I'm going to do the random generator. I did want to do the like the one where you go, I don't have Alexa or anything like that, but I do have Google. But the Google voice thing, um, you have to download and um, on my app, my iPad doesn't have enough storage for it. I've, I, when I got my, it's not an iPad, it's a, I think it's a Wowie. Yeah, because it syncs with my phone. So it's a Wowie tablet and it's down there at the moment charging. It's on like 30%, but I just don't want to lose anything. So um, you lose anybody's because you, can you remember when I did the giveaway before at Sheena's? I stopped pressing the button, the like um, speaky button, um, right in the middle of it. And it was just like so frustrating. Anyway, anyway, um, so it it is literally, it will get done in this video because that's why I got up early because I want to get it done in this video. Then I want to get the video uploaded and the videos always take ages to upload, particularly since we've had bad storms here. They take even, they're taking even longer at the moment. It's really disrupted I don't know, the Wi-Fi or something. Who knows, hey? Who knows what goes on out in the worldwide internet of Wi-Fi? Anyway, so, um, yeah, so I want to make sure it goes out tonight at 9.15. That's my, like, um, what I like to post the same time every night, 9.15. So, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing. Next. That's why I got up early. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> so um there we go and also i'm now going to talk about something else why that is still charging hang on a moment okay so there are cuts in my video if you're watching there are cuts excuse me i've got a i was gonna wipe my nose and my hand then i thought better not i'm a grown-up some of me are grown-ups <laughs> some of me are little kids that's what happens if you have multiple personality disorder <laughs> Ugh. It's only because it's blowy in that outside and I was like um, doing some bits outside earlier. Uh, well, on the way down, because I came down to turn the heating on down there. The heating is on an anti-frost thing, so it won't. Uh, so if the temperature goes down to freezing, the heat will kick in. Um, but to be able to like have it at a temperature where it's comfortable to be in here, um, really, you need to come down. I need to come down and set the heat turn the heating on first and um and then come down like about 20 or 30 minutes later when it's warmed up 
I don't always do that, which is why sometimes you see me in a hat and things because I, <laughs> sometimes I forget. I just come down here. Um, but I do have to do that now. It's definitely getting colder outside. So I do have to remember to do that. And I did that this morning. OK, so moving along, I have got a coffee. It's in a big flask. I do have a Christmas mug and I was going to use it today, but I made my coffee in a flask first thinking, oh, I'll just chill upstairs for a bit and do me bits upstairs. But I just thought, no, I just want to get this done. I thought I'd do all my bits upstairs, you know, the wifey, housewifey bits, the boring bits, while my iPad was charging. But I just couldn't. <laughs> I just didn't want to because... I got so much going on down here that I want to do. So I just wanted to get down here today. I'm doing a really easy tea today. Pea and ham soup. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's obviously from scratch, but um, it's nothing to do that. Onion, ham, um, peas. Yeah, <laughs> peas, um, vegetable stock cube, salt and pepper. And that's it. Job's done. <laughs> So I'm doing easy tea tonight so I can play. So I've got time to play. And I've got a lot of play I want to do down here today. I've done all of my Christmas cards. I've just got Ellie. I did get your email, but I got that and I was going to the doll show. So I've read it, but I haven't responded to you. So just know, Ellie, that I am going to respond to you. And I will be sending you a card. Sorry, I don't mean to go like that. Just like, I just imagine like the sort of things I used to do when I was teaching. Listen with your ears. Look at Mrs. Face. My mouth is talking. You listen. <laughs> and then um, Tasha gave me her different address. I'd already written Tasha's card out. And she gave me a different address. So um, I just have to make sure I redo that one. So that's it for all of my Christmas cards. Yes, ka -ching, done. I've still got a few left. So if you would still like a Christmas card from me, then you have to email me or Instagram message me or Facebook message me and um, I better put them again here didn't I I'll put them in the description in the description are the ways that you can contact me okay so always look in the description and um, I usually always write and I always write in the descriptions of the of the um, video something so um it's always a hello and it's always a thank you for watching something like that, like love from Caroline and whoever's in the video that day. So it's not a generic thing. It's always I do the video, I edit it and then I edit all and I do all the other bits that you, that you can do, which is like add a different title, do the description, set it to be monetized, add it to certain playlists and add tags and make sure it's not for under 18s. Oh, I've just seen a robin outside. Oh, no, I don't think it's a robin, actually. Where are we, gogs? I love robins. Robins are my favourite bird. My dad used to have an aviary. Oh, he's gone. I must have moved too quick. It's beautiful out here. Absolutely beautiful. Shall I turn around a minute? So this is my window. That's what you were resting on. My pens. There's my drink. And the trees have really lost their leaves. So that's what you're resting on. I've got, still got that paint on from the last video. I think I did. <laughs> I'm so naughty. So there's our view lap. It's very, very windy. Very windy today. So we certainly see more leaves falling off. But, oh, where did you go, Mr. Birdie? Ah, oh, damn. There we go. Sorry, yes, my videos are never, not scripted. <laughs> They're just always impromptu. And that is any video I do. Like, I do, if I do, like, um, meals of the week with the kids or um, a day in the life, then I usually, like, kind of, like, think about what I'm going to do. But... I don't plan it and there's no nothing's written down for any of my videos so it's in the coffee and the chats are always off the cuff <laughs> unless it's something I really want to talk to you about which is if you still want a Christmas card from me but only in the UK because I cannot now guarantee that it will get to you in time for Christmas abroad hopefully it will but with the, the restrictions that they're going on now in Europe even Europe's looking dodgy for us the rest of Europe um, 
I'm hoping that the Christmas gift, you know, the prize winnings will get to you by Christmas because they will be posted tomorrow or Friday. Well, that's if you get back to me, you have to get back to me. Um, so they will be posted tomorrow or Friday, probably Friday, actually. I've got to go to get some medication, so um, I can, I'll can i post them at the same time. And I've got loads of Christmas cards now, the English Christmas cards to post. I have posted everything abroad, everything. So that's it. No more posting abroad, apart from whoever the winner of this is. If, they're, if you're abroad, you will get it posted. But anyway, let's talk about little sweet Amelia. So, you've got to remember where you are, aren't you? You're over there. <laughs> and I always like look straight in there, but you're, you're, the, the camera is actually right there. So I have to always look off a, bit, a little bit and I don't always. So I only got Amelia um, September, I think. Yeah, September. And she is absolutely amazing she really is she's looking lighter actually because the light is glaring right in so she's looking lighter than than she actually is but she is lovely she's really really lovely and if you've seen on instagram or you do follow me on facebook you will know that she has now got a new mummy i know guys it's hard isn't it can you remember like i was like oh i want a new baby i want a baby i have a real craving for a baby and i do and I do, and I always will, because of the nature of miscarriage and what you lost. So, um, well, not lost. I hate using that word yet. It's just used so much that you just do use it, um, which you miscarried. It's not lost. Miscarried. I didn't lose anything. I miscarried babies. So I'm always, always loving newborn size, and I love newborn size, and um, but... Apart from, the only thing I do with this size is dress them. I might cuddle them for a little bit, but I just literally dress them. And they are more to me how I would be with a doll. I know that Reborns are dolls. And I know some people won't understand this. But my Reborns are my little therapy family. And I do a lot with them. Now, some people's therapy is to dress their babies up in lovely little clothes and... Um, and put them in their prams and put them in their bouncers and put them in their carts and give them an odd cuddle. And um, and that is OK for them. And I always think that's OK for me until reality comes and hits me. And it's not OK for me. Um, she's beautiful. And I don't know. There was definitely no buyer's remorse when I bought her. But I don't know, just she just lies there and it just does nothing for me. Alistair's not much bigger than her. She wears newborn. I mean it's really it's really surprising. She wears newborn and Alistair wears not to free. Um newborn's tight on Alistair. So you'd think maybe I would feel like that about Alistair, but I actually don't, and I think it's because Alistair's eyes are open. I do. And I co-sleep with Alistair and I wouldn't co-sleep with her at all. Um, so, yeah, she has a new mummy. But I know her mummy will absolutely cherish her. I, I, I just I know that. I know who her mummy is. I've known her for a long time. Um, she's bought babies off of me before. And um, she particularly likes the little ones. And um, and that just, we've all got our own, what we all need, don't we? I don't even mind the bigger sleepers because the bigger and chunkier and I don't know, just not like dolls, I guess, to me. I guess, I don't know. Mm. It's like I can bottle feed, I can pretend, obviously, bottle feed her, but I can't pretend to feed her. Uh, I could wind her. Can't really play much. So that's the kind of things that I need. I need a lot more interaction. And every time I get a newborn, I do this. They don't last very long. And um, 
And when I went to the doll and teddy fair on Sunday, that really made me realise that because I was loving all the babies with different faces that I don't even normally like, like the crier, like, um, is it Sage that's meant to be grumpy? Looks grumpy, but I don't think it looks grumpy. Um, but even like the criers and that, I just, oh, I've got to pause. There we go. No, I haven't got to pause. I just stop. Millie's snoring. <laughs> She's Millie's whistling. Um, I'm not even convinced. Yeah, I'm not even convinced that it is the closed eyes. I'm not convinced it's the closed eyes. So can anybody else relate to that? Do you have a favourite size baby? I don't particularly have a favourite size. I do actually miss having, I miss having Harry and Heidi with their big smiley faces, sit them in the, in the thing and feed them. I miss that. I do um, feed uh, Felicity, um, you know, role play feed. Um but yeah, do you have a favorite, do you have like a favorite size or um, one that you're more likely to go for? Um, you know, your, 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 your heart takes you somewhere else. Well, I realized on Sunday that my heart definitely takes me somewhere else. And um, yeah, so I put her straight up for sale. I think I put her up for sale that night when I got home. And she sold. Or or I did it Monday and she sold on Monday. But she sold within like, I don't know, a few hours of her going up, up because she is amazing. She was made by a midwife. Her hair is super stunning. And um, mummy is going to be very, very pleased with her. She will keep this outfit on mummy, so I won't change her. Mummy's on a payment plan. So I'm not going to change her. I won't be changing her for Christmas or anything now. Um, she's yours. So I will keep the the knit knit baby grow that she's got on. Or, yeah, the knitted one. But not the coat. <laughs> Sorry. Not the coat. Oh, I don't know. I might send her in the coat and the hat as well. You might get the coat and the hat as well. She's lovely. She's very heavy, so she's going to cost quite a bit to post. But, um, yeah. So her mummy, new mummy, is very happy with her. And I'm very happy that she's going to such a lovely mummy. So I'm going to put her back over here. And see what charge we've got. I think I'm going to take you around the room and show you a few of the things that I've been doing as well. Let's do that first. Right, so all of the cards for posting are in here. These all need, these are all large letters. There's a few there that need a stamp. Um, there's some up the top of the house I was going to post today and then thought, oh no, what if one of those people win the giveaway? So I couldn't post them today. And here are some that I've got leftovers, a few leftovers. And Tanya, if you're watching, I've still got that Christmas car, Christmas tree one that you wanted. So I stamped the girls and I colour them in, just so you know that I do that. So, Tanya, it was one like this Christmas tree, wasn't it, that you wanted? You haven't messaged me with any details of postage. I stamped him and coloured him in. There we go, just been using up my bits. Go. I've got some PVA glue here because I'm building my Christmas village. I think I put it on my Facebook page. I am building my Christmas village, so I'm doing some walls. I want to do some little like Christmas walls at the moment. There's the winnings. Just got my iPad. These are all the names, but I just turned that over. It's got an address on it. These are all the names for the thing. It's got an address on it, so I just want to make sure I don't show stuff out. Okay, another thing I'm going to do is I've got these three, there's three like house shapes in here. I haven't opened them, but they're three wooden house shapes. And I'm going to, I've got um, a Maleg, little Christmas pixie, and a Maleg tree. This is a make that's in, um, I don't know, Netherlands, I think. I think. Um, they're like collectibles. And 
I'm going to make a little scene to go in the back of there with that. And then I did this, this, um, when did I do this? Last week, I think. All my little minis, I put them on a little shelf. These are from um, Mini Mini Brands Toys. And then there's another one, and I can't remember what that's called, where you can get these in. Some of those. They're like blind bags, though. So. so there we go. Don't think there's anything else over here to show you. Show you. Um, oh, I got myself a calendar for next year. I got this calendar. I love Tre Trevor Mitchell's um, designs because they're all like vintagey. So this is a vintage calendar. It's um, amazing, and I'm going to use this like for just what things I want to film and upload. And there we go. There's Annie's birdie, and there's a Millie dog. He's a Millie dog. He's sleeping, all curled up in a different bed. You're in a different bed, there, aren't you? Oh, and it's very windy. Okay, when I do the draw, I am going to use random generator off of the internet. So I've had a few goes upstairs to make sure I get it done right. Because Sheena has Alexa. Russ has, um, Russ has the Google Assistant um, on his phone. I probably got it on my phone, but because I use my phone to film, I can't do that as well on my phone. So... Um, I can't wait till Grumpy comes home from work either to use his because I might not have enough time to upload it. Last night I was trying to upload, ready to go live, um, Thursday or Friday, the doll and teddy bear fair. So I've got all that on video. Um, that's all edited now, ready to go. And I was trying to upload that and it just would not upload last night. So that's why I'm trying to get this done early. And you can see it's now half past nine <laughs> Right, let's have a go then, let's have a look. I want to show you, so I'm going to have to turn you around. Okay, like I said, we've got um, up to 30. The last number is like 30, so we've got up to 30 on here. So, um, I think, we love names, comment picker, number picker. I think I used that one. Oh no, that's an app. Yeah, I don't want an app. Maybe it was the first one we chose then. Let's have a look. Yes, here it is. Okay, so number you can see up there, it is 931. And I'll show you the date. It's Wednesday the 1st of December. All right. I know you can change all of those things, but I don't. Here we go. So here it is, but I've got to put the numbers in down here. Minimum of one, and we're going up to 30. Okay. God, why did I put stupid adverts in? Do you know why I was seeing that ad? Because my son-in-law... My middle daughter, my son-in-law, like Lego. So I was looking at Lego for Christmas. Just go away a minute. Let me just do this. So we've got the ones to 30s. All right, ready? Here we go, guys. Number 17. Yay. So number 17... I believe this is going to be going abroad. Number 17 is Reborn Mama Vlogs. Reborn Mama Vlogs. Okay, so you must contact me via email. And I'll just get that out a minute again. So if, in case I forget to write it on the thing. Caroline Reborn Knight at gmail.com. 
I know you can't, it's all joined up because that's how I write a lot of the time. So carolineribornknight at gmail.com. Please, please message me, email me with an address. I can send this to you. Reborn Mama Vlogs. I'm sure you're from abroad. I am sure you're from abroad. There you go. So you're the winner. Congratulations. Congratulations. You'll get some yummies. Yay. Thank you very much to everybody who took part. I want to try and take a picture of that up there. Of the number behind it. There we go. Well done. Thank you very much for taking part, everybody. Merry Christmas to the winner. So get me your email. I mean, email me. I need an address to be able to post that. Rebel Mama Vlogs. Okay? Thank you. There you go. We got the winner. Gotta be so careful. I know that we're all adults here, but you know, some people just do not act like it sometimes. <laughs> oh my God. You know, they get all hit up about a box of chocolates and some coffee bags. So yeah, you do have to. You have to like, be so careful when you're doing giveaways. Oh, yeah. And also, I want to show you that we got our very first Christmas card. Da, da, da. Oh, I was meant to bring something else down here as well. We got our, we got our very first Christmas card. Thank you very much, Anne. I might have just had to um, pause it. From Canada. Nice little stamp up there. Thank you, Anne, because I know how um, tight things are for you financially. And I also know how much it costs to post abroad. <laughs> oh, I posted some stuff off. I posted all my stuff abroad and yeah, it is three figures. The postage cost was three figures. Postage has really gone up since, um, I don't know if it's everywhere, but in the UK. Not for posting within the UK, but for posting outside. has got really, really strict. And... Um, really strict so my customs labels had to have usually i can just put baby things or or it's just just you know but now you have to like literally baby socks baby tights baby dress you literally i literally had to list and because i did them all like at the beginning of the month of november i wanted to get all of my overseas postage done early because of the coronavirus you never know what's going on um, what's going to occur and like now we've got the new variant so um, I wanted to get them done early and posted too early so I know you've got them early and I know some of you have opened them Anne's keeping hers till Christmas Nana's opened hers already so I know that they have got there early but just pop them to one side put them under your tree you don't have oh and um, Yvonne from having you on you don't have to open them on camera so I, I don't send them for that I just send them for you because I'm thinking of you um, and all my UK postage will now get done over the next couple of weeks. I'll, I Tuesdays is my day out of the house, my um, guaranteed day out of the house, um, because I have um, fat club, slimming club and um, my counselling that day. So I'm definitely out of the house that day. And um, I do have a post box opposite my house, which is fine if I'm sending first or second class. But sometimes I, I need to get them weighed. Um, and then so then I have to go to the post office. But the post office is just a couple of um, couple of uh, buildings up from where I actually have all my counselling. So that's why I usually send them all stuff out on a Tuesday. But I made a really big boo-boo last week. I posted Sam, her birthday card, with a gift voucher in. And I didn't put a stamp on. And you know, I got the stamp and everything. Um but I got the stamp while I was in the queue at the post office. And rather than staying there and writing the card, I thought, oh, God, I've got to go to, I've got to, go to my 
club and I went to the club and I wrote the card out in the club. I wrote, um, I got the gift card. I put it all in the envelope, wrote, wrote the address on the envelope, didn't stick the stamp on. And just as I was putting it in the letterbox, as it was leaving my hand, I was like, shit, there's no stamp. Ugh. And Sam still hasn't received it yet. And it's got a gift voucher in it. Ugh. A gift card you know so it's like money loaded onto the card already hopefully she'll get it because they will still deliver a post but you or they will ask you to go and pay pay for it so you have to pay like a handling fee and it's usually something like i don't know one pound twenty one pound twenty five so that might be as much as two pound now and i said to sam well do that if you have to do that that's fine and i'll give you back the, i'll give you the money for that because it's my blooming error and I wanted her to have it because it was her birthday and I really like Sam. Sam's somebody I've known a long time in the Reborn community as well. She's her and her mum are the ladies, apart from Sheena, are the ladies that crochet for the babies. They crochet blankets and I've got that wrap, which I have down here. I think I must have worn it back up to the house. Um, Sam's mum knitted me a thing to put around my shoulders and everything and uh, a, a pink one and um, I love that. Um... Ooh, now it's catching up with me now getting up so early <laughs> my excitement this is what happens at christmas on christmas day i get up really early because i'm excited <laughs> and then by like about 11 o'clock i'm like oh my god i'm so tired and now i've got to put all the dinner in and i just can't cope with it <laughs> i'm just like such a child never mind but yeah so i did that what a ah uh, bums but I'm seeing Sam. We're going to meet Sam in a few weeks. We're going to have um, a carvery. So carvery is like um, like traditionally what people in America and that have for Thanksgiving, like the turkey and all that. That's what we have on Christmas Day. That's our like Thanksgiving to the Lord, really. And um, so that's what that's our tradition. And um, most people have like lots of Christmas dinners throughout um December and they you know that's what me and Sam are going for so I can't wait for that Sam I'm really looking forward to that that's in two weeks two weeks today I think Christmas is coming guys Christmas is coming so quickly god damn it <laughs> um I think that's all that I want to talk about oh no 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 I'm just look, look glance down again at that card from Anne I haven't opened it out because I just wanted to say thank you very much on camera and um, and I'm going to open it right now. Um, I've also got, so this is my first Christmas card, I also got um, two Christmas pack, two packages in the post, in the mail. One is in a box, one was in um, a post bag. And I just want the people who sent those, I know one person messaged me and said they were sending me something as a thank you for the videos and for cheering her up and all of that. Like, that's so sweet. Thank you very much. They're both from in the UK. One's, so one's in, oh, that's lovely. Oh my gosh. That's a lovely card, Anne. Look at that. These are, this is a tree free greeting card printed in Canada the Lamb of God look at that I love that actually it reminds me of the Lion, the Witch in the Wardrobe as well oh thank you Anne that's really sweet yeah so I also got two packages they're both from the UK. And um, so if you've sent me a package, I just want to say thank you very much. And I do will be keeping all my Christmas packaging until Christmas. And I will open them in a video with the kids. Um, so I just want you to know that. Uh, I know one person messaged me and said they're sending me something. So I'm not sure if that's from that person. Thank you very much. But thank you, guys. Um, I do. I put all of that to one side and it goes in for the kiddies. We have our own little like Christmas on Christmas Day or Boxing Day some days. I might open I might open Friendsgiving, Friends ones, uh, Christmas Eve. I might do that. 
I got my mother-in-law for Christmas Day. So my mother-in-law is staying Christmas Eve, all day Christmas Day and Christmas Day night. My eldest daughter and our wife are staying Christmas Eve, Christmas Day night. And then the day after is called Boxing Day in the UK. And it is, um, nobody really knows where the word boxing comes from. It could be from unboxing your gifts or it could be from um, when people would give stuff left over from Christmas Day on Boxing Day to the needy. So in communities, that was like years and years ago. So the, it comes from somewhere, but it's always called Boxing Day anyway. So my young middle daughter will be over from Ireland um, that day. She's coming here to stay for a couple of nights. So we, I will see her then. My youngest daughter, I, I just sent her a, a gift. Um, I, you probably guessed it were estranged so I do just I do just I would love to see her but I will send her I've got her packages now I just got to get um cards for my children so I'll send her a card and she goes and spends Christmas in Ireland with her dad anyway so and um and then Russ's son is coming down probably Boxing Day could be the day after and so it's going to be a busy time over Christmas. So I'm not sure when I'm going to get to opening the littles. I actually like to open the littles on Christmas Day. I do. Because Father Christmas came the night before. And so they're all going to be hyper and wanting to open their gifts, aren't they? So I usually like to do that Christmas Day. And we don't usually have like loads of family over or we go somewhere. Um, but everybody wants to come here because of like we've got the guest room, we've got the view. And uh, so that's going to be wonderful. I think that's another reason why I'm excited for Christmas this year. Um, and then we, we, Russ and I traditionally go away in the camper. We obviously couldn't last year because of the corona. We did the year before. We went. To, we always go to Scotland because we got engaged. Russ proposed in Scotland. We got and so we got engaged in Scotland. We got married in Scotland at Gretna Green. And we have our honeymoon in Scotland with our kids. Um, and so, and I love Scotland. Russ loves Scotland. And if we didn't have ties to this area, then we both would have gone to Scotland, which is really funny because we were talking about moving to Scotland. And, um, but then I was like, I can't because my three daughters are here in this area. And um, then my middle daughter has moved to Ireland. My youngest daughter is going to move to Ireland, probably. Uh, we're probably about 90% sure she will go over to Ireland now. And um, my eldest daughter, it will be wherever her nursing, her career takes her, really. So <laughs> Russ's son lives in York, which is um, about a five hour drive up country from us. So we would have been closer to Will if we'd gone up to Scotland. Um, now we've bought the bungalow, so we, we, we will be staying here and... I just love the bungalow and I was a bit more worried that I would be more isolated in Scotland because I have the camper and it's easier for me to get around um, to local. I mean, my closest reborn friend is over an hour away. So, you know, an hours drive away. So, you know, it's not that easy. They're not that close. But I think if we went to Scotland, we would have chosen to go somewhere quite remote. And I'm along on 11 minutes now. I'm not sure if this is going to upload. That last clip was 11 minutes, so I don't even know if it's going to upload because sometimes the editing app, um, I use a YouTube editing app and sometimes it's a bit rubbish. Um, yeah, so we were going to move to Scotland and we would have gone quite remote, but I just I just couldn't. I just knew I couldn't. And uh, anyway, now we've got the bungalow where we've settled. Russ is still like working for another few years and he's going to part time retire. So... Our friends are here. Russell's mum is still here. You know, she's not going to be around for much longer. She's 79 now, so she's not going to be around forever. Russ has a sister and nephews around here. So so we stayed and it doesn't matter because I love it. I totally love it around here. This is where we both grew up and we belong here. Anyway, yeah, so we got a busy house. So we would normally go to Scotland, but I just don't want to because we've got a busy house. And I just said to us, I'm going to be so tired. I am really going to have to pace myself and just be careful because I'll be really tired after. 
and the drive all the way to Scotland is just going to be just too tiring. I'll be tired. I won't really enjoy it and I'll be grumpy and irritated and irritable and it just will just turn out to be like a big disaster. Um, so, but we are still going to have a few days away in the camper. Russ was looking last night at places. So, oh gosh, there's a hair. I don't want to get a hair in my mouth. <sighs> Millie, we've been having too many cuddles this morning. Just getting this hair out of my drink. Oh, God. I don't have any tweezers when you need them. Yeah. Uh. right in the like the clip bit where you get a drink from anyway guys how are you doing are you getting frazzled are you getting frazzled about christmas i said to russ that i was getting a bit anxious about christmas that's because my mother-in-law's here and you just want to make sure that everything's right don't you and when you've got like a chronic illness you don't always you just want to be able to go and lie down if you need to well i do anyway and uh I just don't want to leave my mother-in-law regretting that she chose to come over here this year. I mean, she asked us, so. Because she is, she's moving. So she asked us. She's moving, but she's moving local. Oh, no, where's it gone? It's come out, but. Many <sighs> night, if I start choking, it'll be on one of your dog hairs. Your peen. Your peen in the bum. Yeah, so, yeah, that's right. Um, so, yeah, a bit nervous. <laughs> I'm not nervous about food. She's Because she comes over here and has food. And I don't like cooking, and she knows that. So, you know, she'll be a help in the kitchen, that's for sure. Um, she's, she's a very good cook. So, I'm not worried about that. But it's entertaining, isn't it, when you're like... I feel like I am, and you get hyper, because... I do have multiple personalities and I do get hyper and I do get childlike and I mean I'm not worried about that either that's as I am but it's more about keeping people entertained um, and I was worried about if I like want to go back to bed and have a lie down in the afternoon I was worried about that. My eldest daughter is doing an overnight shift on Christmas Eve. So she'll be back here at Christmas morning. And then we do like stockings in that. We have a cook food on the bar on the griller outside. Russell do that unless it's pouring with rain. But Russell do that. And I think he wants to get his nephews to come round. So they'll come round. Um, he, Russ always does breakfast. We always have cooked breakfast like bacon and eggs and that Christmas morning. We always have that. And um, and then the turkey and the roast potatoes and the Brussels sprouts and the vegetables later on. And we'll ha probably have that about two o'clock so that the eldest, my eldest daughter can have a little bit of a, a little relaxed sleep if she needs to. Or, you know, because sometimes when you've come off of nights, you, you, you don't want to go sleep straight away anyway, which she doesn't usually. So she just has like a like a relaxing day. So that's really what I'm hoping it will be for her. Um. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. What are you doing? It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So I'm getting my Christmas Christmas village done. And I'll put some pictures in here. Caroline, remember to put some pictures in here. So that was stage one of my Christmas village. Um, that was like I was trying to lay it out and decide where it was all going to go. So now I have added some black um, like tape stuff to make the track for the train. And I've added some grey tape to make like pathways, pathway. I'll show you that now. Oh, my bits makings of my Limax Christmas village but we ran out of snow so it snow stopped <laughs> oh 
the snow stopped guys <laughs> oh my god it's looking great though it's looking good oh part two snow and as you can see i've started to add snow but i've run out of snow so some more snow is coming tomorrow it's biodegradable so don't worry it's coming tomorrow and um yeah, I'm excited. So I've got that. That's going to be on the table. I think I was talking to you about that when I was unpacking Christmas in that video. Um, and then Russ is getting the tree out on Friday. I, I think if he comes home from work like early in the afternoon, because they have a half day in the manufacturing side of the business on Fridays, then sometimes he stays and does work while it's quiet. Sometimes he mows the field down there. Um, so maybe he'll come home. I said I wanted to tree out this week, this weekend. So hopefully he's going to do that. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get the tree out. Then I can start wrapping the presents and putting them in bags and putting them under the tree. That's the ones we're giving to friends, folks, because, you know, Santa brings the stockings for Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve, you put your stocking up, Santa fills your stocking. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we can't do, you know, that's, that's just what you do. But, the presents that we give to each other, we put under the tree. That's our tradition. What's your tradition? <laughs> anyway, this video's gone on for a long, long time. Thank you to anybody who stayed and watched the whole thing. <laughs> I know it's a bit long and some people don't. You dip in and out. I understand that. It is what it is. But when you do things like that, sometimes you miss a secret giveaway. There we go. So, well done, Reban, 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 Reborn, Reborn Mama Vlogs. This is for you. So, let me know where I can send it. Um, if I don't get another coffee and a chat, Merry Christmas, everybody. Be safe. Be safe. Keep those masks on. And... Keep the air coming in and circulating. Get those bugs out of your house. I know a lot of people don't like doing that, but open your windows. I've always, I grew up opening windows in the morning, shutting windows in the afternoon so that the house could breathe. That was just the way we were brought up back then. And and with um, like central heating and things, you really need to do that because everything warms up and the bugs and bacteria grow in the warm. When it's cold, they, they're dormant and they just die or they they stay dormant which is why we free stuff isn't it anyway be safe everybody merry christmas and see you in the next video bye